Senate Democrats and Republicans calling on the bipartisan House Ethics Committee to release their findings from a months long investigation into Gates for alleged sexual misconduct and illicit drug use. Allegations Gates has long claimed are false. How critical is it then to have access to what the House Ethics Committee has found in their investigation? I think there should not be any limitation on the Senate Judiciary Committee's investigation, including uh, whatever the House Ethics Committee has generated. So you want to see it? Absolutely. Sources say the committee was preparing to vote to release that report as early as this week. But after Trump announced his nomination, Gates abruptly resigned from Congress. The move immediately ending the investigation. Can you still release the report? Yeah, also, the fact that there's no conspiracy theories on the on the conservative side about, like, the fact that they were investigating him for this, right? And he resigns two days before any re any of the findings are released publicly, um, thus, like, kneecapping any any information coming out whatsoever. Um like this doesn't this doesn't make conservatives wonder whatsoever. I guarantee you, like one million percent, there isn't even a, a shadow of a doubt in my mind that if conservatives saw a liberal do this sort of thing, right, with this amount of like evidence and rumor being thrown around and people in the background talking about like I don't want him near my wife, I don't want him near my daughter, I don't want him near any of my women friends, um, uh, uh, and then they resigned from Congress two days before to be the Attorney General of the United States, conservatives would be losing their absolute minds, dude. Democrats did the same. Can you give me, can you like explain how like there is any correlation between what I'm talking about here and what that is? You'd rush to defend any Democrat? No. What are you talking about? I've criticized Democrats a ton on my stream. I have criticized Democrats. I've criticized Republicans. There's a Democrat that I said that we should lock up. Um, actually, is he locked up? Um, New Jersey Senator uh, Corruption. I can never remember his name. Robert Menendez. Is he in jail? Oh, he might get it thrown out because of erroneous evidence. No, he needs to go to jail. He was bribed like a dude. He was bribed like a Wait, no, come on. Caused a laptop given to jurors to contain several pieces of evidence that did not have the redactions ordered by the judge. Nine government exhibits were missing redactions, which were endorsed uh, or ordered so the evidence did not violate the Constitution's speech or debate clause. The clause protects speech relating to information shared by legislators. Um, prosecutors argued that no action was necessary for multiple reasons, including that the defense reviewed the documents on the laptop before it was handed over to the jury and made no objections. Um... They also said that there was a reasonable likelihood that the jurors did not see the incorrectly redacted exhibits, which were of secondary relevance and cumulative with abundant properly admitted evidence. Um, well, hopefully he does get sentenced. I hope that doesn't affect it because I don't like corrupt politicians personally. I do not like corrupt politicians. Republicans elected a felon. They can't get on their high horse about defending criminals. True, true, true. Okay, anyways. Back to this. But after Trump announced his nomination, Gates abruptly resigned from Congress, the move immediately ending the investigation. Can you still release the report? No, I sure can't. Sources tell ABC News the committee heard from a young woman who said Gates had sex with her when she was just 17 years old while he was still in Congress. It's a claim Gates denies, saying in a statement, this false smear following a three-year criminal investigation should be viewed with great skepticism. The lawyer representing that woman calling Gates' nomination a perverse development, saying she was a high school student and there were witnesses. The Justice Department Gates could Wait, sue what? me. The lawyer representing that woman calling Gates' nomination oh. a perverse development. I thought that they said this was the person that was defending Matt Gates. I was like, dude, this is the worst attorney in the world. <laughs> saying she was a high school student and there were witnesses. The Justice Department Gates could soon lead was actually investigating him for obstruction of justice and sex trafficking. Gates denies those allegations too. And even though the DOJ closed their investigation without bringing charges, the allegations alone raising doubts. A lot of people will spend a lot of political capital on something that even if it got done, you'd have to wonder if it was worth it. Sources tell us Trump's decision to nominate Gates came together within just 24 hours. Trump not impressed by a handful of other candidates ultimately persuaded during his flight back from D.C. 
Gates, who is a fierce defender of Trump, at one point suggested he should be up for the job. I'd fire every little Do you have do you have any ABC News is a credible source laughing emoji. Is there anything that they're saying here that you can disprove? Like listen, this is me investigating this. This is me learning more about this. I haven't read anything about it except for that one tweet that I uh, read out the the contents of a minute ago. Um so if you if you have anything that uh, disproves what ABC News is saying here or the previous one that was, I think, AP um, or this next one that is going to be uh, this one's also ABC. Um, we have CBS, we have ABC, we had AP. Like if you have anything that would go against anything that they said, then you can. Uh, well, you won't be able to post a link in chat, but you can definitely post like a, a title of a YouTube video or a title of an article and I will read it. Um, all news is fake. Oh no, it's one of those people. Um, listen, <laughs> I, I I don't know how to help you if you think all news is fake. How do you get any information ever? <laughs> you just trust the one guy, the one guy that is like provably lying to you. I don't know. Uh, whatever happened to innocent until proven guilty? If we shunned every politician who got accused of something, there would be no one in D.C. Well, that's what we're looking into. You guys, like, listen, I'm not saying that he definitely is one. But I'm saying that based off of what we've seen so far, uh, even from people on his own side who know him personally, uh, it seems like not a lot of people like him and a lot of people don't want their wives and daughters around him. So um, if you like, again, if you guys have anything that would defend the, the guy that's being accused of these heinous crimes, then uh, please post them in chat. I am very willing to eat my words live on stream and say that I was wrong about something. Republican Congressman oh, Charlie Kicker at the J. Edgar Hoover from D.C. Gates, who is a fierce defender of Trump, at one point suggested he should be up for the job. I'd fire every little kicker at the J. Edgar Hoover building and send them all packing. Threatening to take an axe to the Justice Department. We either get this government back on our... Something that I don't understand is the unmitigated hate for the FBI. Like, they're... There are mistakes that any agency is going to make, and I'll be the first person to admit that. Uh, there's going to be, um, you know, corruption and that should be rooted out, et cetera, et cetera. But, like, the FBI, like, predominantly stops things from happening here in the United States that we don't want to happen in the United States, right? They, you know, they catch the exact kind of people that Matt Gates is being accused of being. Um, they are, like, a pretty effective... Uh, a pretty effective law enforcement agency. Uh, I like we can we can cry and, and moan and bitch and, you know, cry tears of blood all we want about, oh, no, they went after Donald Trump. They went after Donald Trump. And that means that they're all evil. But like at the end of the day, the majority of what the FBI does is catch criminals that like live amongst us every day. Uh, they catch people who are scamming you from uh, like through like phone stuff. Uh, they catch criminals who are uh, scamming people's bank accounts. Uh, like, it, it's just, yeah. Side or we defund and get rid of... What's he accused of? I uh, don't want to say it again because the last time I said the word that he's being accused of being, uh, it, uh, it it throttled my reach on YouTube. Um, but it, it sounds like uh, a certain kind of file that you can do on your computer, the PDF file. Yeah. No, no, no. It's, uh, well, statutory. Yes. Yes. That, that sort of thing. Abolish the FBI, CDC, ATF, DOJ, every last one of them, if they do not come to heal. So I'm told this morning that Vice President-elect J.D. Vance, as well as Matt Gates himself, have been making calls to senators, really trying to gauge support. But I will tell you, I've talked to at least five Republican senators here on Capitol Hill. All of them acknowledge that this could be an uphill battle with. All right, Rachel Scott for us. Thank you. ATF is trash. Well, I don't... Um... Gun issues aren't like my top issue, so I don't really look into it, uh, into ATF stuff all that much. Um, 
I've seen more negative stuff about them than positive. But then again, all the things I see negative are from people who are like hardcore Second Amendment, like do or die. Never. I'm. You can take my. You can take my uh, 500 cycle rate fucking machine gun uh, from my cold dead fingers type people. Like I'm not anti Second Amendment by any stretch of the imagination. But um, like it, I, I also don't like the crazies. <laughs> And uh, at a certain point, when all I see are the crazies criticizing a specific agency, it makes me think maybe these crazies just want to be able to break the law. So, I mean, I don't know. I like gun issues just like are not uh, even in my top five political priorities right now. So that's it. Anything Trump do, they're going to find something negative to say. Uh, well, if you think that I'm saying anything correct, um, you can always type into chat exclamation point discord like that and you can tell me what i've said that is wrong see there's a little link right there it'll bring up a, a a tab that you can join my discord and you can jump into a voice call with me if you don't have discord we can do it through twitter um so i have a question for you have you ever shot a gun i have shot more guns than probably like 90 percent of liberals yes i have gone hunting my i grew up in the deep south I went hunting with my grandfather. I've shot, I've never shot a pistol, but that's because my grandfather's like old school, just like go out and hunt type guy. So, but I've shot rifles. I've shot shotguns. Um, I have, I've taken blood. All right. I had the blood smeared on my face after getting, in, um, I think I've got five, maybe six deers over the course of my life. Uh, but it's only something that we do when we visit my grandfather. So, are you on the left centrist? Um, well, it depends on, uh, like, I would say that I'm probably on the left. Um, if you're like a socialist or a communist, you would probably say that I'm a centrist. Um, but I'm like pretty solidly center left. Embarrassed leftist? I, well, I was embarrassed of my, left, of my leftist phase, yes. Back when I was a dumb child. 